Hey, Big Fatone here. So we're going to discuss. Uh, I'd like to discuss about the the uh, alleged red hole in um, the Patterson Gimlin film. A lot of you may be following the story through MK's videos, and uh, I, I do disagree that it's a, it's a red hole. And I'm going to first of all, I will play a section of uh, MK's uh, video where he has a uh, optical physicist named uh, Bruce Maccabee explain to the viewers that he saw the red color in in the in the hole on one of the frames which uh, MK showed him uh, anyway I'll, I'll leave the link to the video you can you can watch it yourselves and I'll just um, show you this the end of, of this um, of this uh, talk where he finishes and then MK uh, showed you the images which he showed to Mr. Uh, Maccabee. Appreciate that. Appreciate your visit. Well, thank you, Dr. Maccabee. Um, and these are the images that uh, I scanned uh, that Dr. Maccabee was referring to. So he said very clearly, these are the images which he scanned, and he, you know, and these are the images which uh, Mr. Maccabee was referring to, which he said um, the red, the red color. Um, he was referring to the red color in, in this red hole, this hole here. And whether that's a an actual hole that's been dug by a machine or not, I don't know. Uh, that's another another thing I might discuss. I might think talk about because uh, also if you look at it here it kind of um, continues around here where you think you know and this section might, might be another like another wall um, of a stream or a creek possibly you know so uh, there are other images which I want to want to look at um, which might um, show a bit clearer this kind of section you know but I mean I, I don't know maybe it is a hole that's been dug I don't know and as I said before I don't know what happened there whether uh, Bigfoots were killed on that day I don't know I just know that I, I, I don't believe that this is a red hole so again uh, here are some uh, some images uh, which are and screenshots and actual actual frames which I've been uh, given kindly by by other people uh, including uh, Bill Munns here is one of the images which MK uh, keeps referring to uh, you, you, you I'm sure you'll notice uh, I'm sure you'll remember this image and here again you can see the kind of the meandering um, the uh, the area here which which to me, this looks like it continues, like a, a kind of a like like a stream or a creek would do, uh, continuing under these uh, um, felled trees, these logs. But I'm not sure about that. I mean, I, I I don't know. We can't see for certain from this image whether this is a, an actual creek, uh, partially filled with water or not. So when I saw this and and I and I heard about what MK was talking about and and what MK was um, was uh, alleging that uh, there's red in the hole, um, I I was kind of taken back because for me there's red uh, in 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 a lot of the a lot of the image here, and the uh, the colors have appeared to be saturated more than they than they should. I'm not, I'm not saying that MK. Uh, added the saturation to exaggerate the colors. I'm not saying that, but that is the um, that is what I'm seeing. And this here is, um, as you can see, an image, um, either one or two frames um, before before this one. Again, uh, given to me by Bill Munns. Um, and as you can see, the, these colors are what the are what a real scene should look like. It's a bit dull. I didn't want to add any contrast or anything like that. But as you can see, you know, we have green, we have uh, orange here, 
um, which is uh, what you would expect um, during the fall and and also at the same time you have an, an orange slightly or an orange color in the uh, in this hole here which which um, which match with the leaves in the trees you know so to me it just looks like an orange um, like a muddy a muddy brown colored uh, puddle with possibly with some orange leaves in it that's what it looks like to me well what, what happens when we um, adjust the uh, the contrast and a bit of um, saturation so already we're seeing very similar colors to what MK has got in in his uh, image. Like I say again, I'm not saying that he, I'm not saying that he's done it on purpose. But this is, you know, I, I've actually I've had to add contra contrast and saturation to make it look uh, unnatural, as unnatural as the image that MK is showing. Let's put that back to normal. But the, again, this is the um, the colors that we should see in a normal. Uh, a normal surrounding, a normal uh, environment, and and indeed there is no red in in uh, in this pond, only brown and some possible orange, matching the leaves in the trees again. And here is the the image which M K said that he showed Mr. Maccabee. Well, clearly it's been oversaturated for some reason. Whether that is the um, the problem with the uh, film at the time. Uh, I don't know. That, that's my thinking, anyway. The film in those days um, may have been kind of, you know, like an exaggerated color for some reason. I don't know. But that, that's definitely not a natural environment color that you would see in a, in a real world. And again, here is when he's talking about the dog in a separate video. The um, where one of the dogs uh, walks past a puddle, and again he's saying that there's red, indeed red in the red color in the in this um, he called it a puddle, I think, hole, red hole. And here's another. So this is what taken from one of his videos, and this is also taken from one of his videos where the uh, the colors in in both of them are different so that this image here is more saturated and you can see there's a kind of a red red color here but this one also taken from one of his videos um there's no red it's just brown and he's also saying that this here this black is a um a skin skin from a, a bigfoot which has been skinned um, to me that just looks like a shadow from something over here the same like we have a shadow here and a shadow here shadow on his uh, on his shirt which is actually the same color as this shadow here the same shade and watch what happens when I so I I, I mean the brown in uh, in the in the hole here looks the same color as his his um, pants shorts uh, trousers pants okay if you want a, the American version, um, and it's brown. He's not wearing red pants, and it's just brown in the hole. Now I'm going to add contrast again to this, to the, these two, and you'll see them become red. So yes, when you add contrast to brown, you get red. That's, you know, it's what happens. So there's no red. There is no red. Like I say, whether Bigfoot were killed that day, I don't know. I, I, I you know, I, I wasn't there. But there's no red in the hole. It's as simple as that. And again, here's his um, his video. So you know that I haven't I haven't um, manipulated the color or anything or the saturation. Uh, that is actually an excavated pit, uh, and 
it's full of something red. Uh, you know, and I didn't put it there. I didn't color it. Okay. Uh, so this is part two. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.